George, I'm sure you're happy to let the strikers take the glory with the goals on Saturday, but how nice to have a clean sheet and, and see out a very impressive win. Yeah, I think a uh, clean sheet is a massive for us. Um, I think it gives us confidence going into the next game and obviously we've got quite a few recently and long may it continue. A lot have been talked about the new formation. It seems to have benefited the team all over the place. Really, how much have you enjoyed playing on the left side of a three? Yeah, I really enjoy it. I mean, um, the outside centre-backs have got the licence to go forward, um, which I enjoy. Just pick and choose my moments and uh, keep that relationship with Deck going. Um, and yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying it and I think the whole team has as well. It certainly looks that way. Your deck's thriving. Obviously, that combination with yourself work, working very well because he looks right on top of his game at the minute, doesn't he? Yeah, well, I think me and Deck understand each other quite well. Pl played together quite a few times now. Um, it's just about picking my moments when to go forward or when to support him. And, you know, Deck's been in great form recently and just give him the ball at, when I can and let him do the rest, really. You came back into the side for the Ipswich game and there was the change of formation for that game. And in many ways, the, the team hasn't looked back since then, really. It's been a remarkable run, hasn't it? Yeah, well, I think we got massive confidence from that Ipswich game and we've kind of not stopped since, um, especially with our home form. We've picked up some good results and, um, yeah, hopefully we can continue it tomorrow night. Yeah, five home wins on the spin is, is great at any time, but you must go out there full of confidence and, and really enjoying your football at home. It certainly looks that way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Saturday we definitely enjoyed it and we needed to respond after a difficult Tuesday night in Burton. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can do the same tomorrow night, but it's going to be another tough test. Yeah, you have to keep reminding yourself to keep the standards high. You can't just trot out and you're guaranteed to win. Are you? You've still got you, obvious statement of fact, but it's nil-nil every time you start again. You've still got to produce the goods. Yeah, of course, you've got to match the opposition for their work rate and um, do the basics right, and then you can kind of enjoy your football. And obviously when we get into the final third, then, we, then our attacking players can express themselves. So, yeah, as long as we match them and, you know, we compete the way we know we can um, we should be fine Last midweek game in a, in a real busy February but it seems to have played to your strengths I know Burton was a blip but uh, have you enjoyed the, the, the run that we've had? Yeah it's gone quite quick really you know game after game uh, Saturday, Tuesday but yeah picked up, picked up some good results along the way um, hopefully we can take that form into March And it's been a huge month huge six, seven weeks or so since the new bodies came in and we got over COVID etc seven point gap in the league table now I mean that's a great effort to get that far what's the sort of next plan just keep doing what we're doing really I mean seven points is a big gap um, but we can only focus on ourselves focus on the next game and uh, pick up the three points and then you never know where we will end up yeah obviously we really hope we can close that gap won't be easy but is it nice to you've got someone to play for every game feels like a big game at the moment doesn't it yeah definitely I think you always want something to play for and at the moment we have so as long as we keep winning and keep keep kind of our eyes on those above us then you know anything can happen tell us about yourself then George I mean it's it's, it's been it outwardly looking an impressive season for you how much you've enjoyed it and this sort of have you viewing it in sort of two halves a season because you played in different positions beforehand and now you look very comfortable where you are yeah well obviously I yeah, really enjoyed this season so far started in a back four um, and then obviously filled in a bit for MJ when he was injured and now part of a back three so I've played in different positions this season enjoyed every one of them positions but obviously I'm um, very self-critical I know there's a lot more to come and hopefully I can push on towards the end of the season still a young man of course and, and we forget that given the, the experiences you had in the past but does this all help build your experience and your learning curve when you play in different positions yeah definitely it kind of broadens my horizons um, gives me um, different aspects you know gives me different understandings of each player's role in different positions and it helps me and it will help me help the team and there's been one or two little tweaks in, in the back three when Gethsney did a breather after his injury problems but uh, the skipper's been a constant alongside you he seems to be playing out of his skin as well Are you enjoying that combination yeah definitely I think um, it's assuring knowing that he's behind me to cover up um, it allows me to be more aggressive with my defending and then obviously get involved with the attacking knowing he's there and obviously when he wants to get involved then I'll cover for him so I think we've got a good relationship uh, we understand each other's playing style now um, yeah and hopefully it will continue yeah, There's a lot made about goals and set pieces but the, you start to look at the threat from set plays Jan scored a great header on Saturday the skipper nearly f followed one up as well is a goal in there somewhere for you are they going to let you uh, give you a licence to get up there and join in? Yeah, I hope so. Um, if I keep getting forward as I have been, then hopefully an opportunity comes up and then I can take it. So it's tomorrow night. Thanks, George. Thank you.